17 and we are here with hair apparent yet then so this is our machine gun the, it is only available in Guardian Games 2020 which is kind of like a Olympics you know except it's you know it's classes but anyways uh like the it is a unique kind of machine gun. Now, you have to go going over from the perks, you have to from Mr. Trudzik, heavy slope thrower. Use F Use L2 to spin up, which means to rotate the barrel. Now the weapon can be fire only when fully spun up. Which kinda acts just like the minigun or or the general electric. And one forty seven esque, you know, um this is how the weapon usually spins up to it in order to fire, but if now what it's got here is corkscrew rifling and pendant mag weapons magazine built for higher capacity, which obviously makes it have its large two hundred round magazine to it. And then it's got armor the armor the colossus. Now while you're at full health but that means you need to be 100% on your health. The spread, spinning up this weapon protects you with an arc shield, so you gain an arc over shield. With that, then there's combat grip, which greatly controls the recoil. Kind of like the um, arrowhead break. And yet the, the weapon's recoil direction is 100 if I fully so looking at the database for the hidden stat. Uh, no, oh. <laughs> it's 75. Uh, okay, so I was a little bit over that, but it feels like it's very, ver very vertical. It doesn't really jump or move at all even because we're here on console now. And then, uh, this weapon do put out a, a decently high and consistent DPS output. And it could get a hell of a lot more better whenever Divinity, Tractor Cannon, or any of these debuffs or buffs that has been applied. Yep, then, uh, then this weapon will always get stronger as it goes. Now, how does it even perform? It performs smoothly, yet then, um, for a weapon, it is a little bit weird, but yet it does, it has no ADS animation other than it's spinning up animation. And yet then, if you notice in the middle of the screen that there is this red dot sitting there in the middle, that's where the indication of where it is supposed to go. And how its accuracy is very, very solid. If the uh, register is completely fine. And then, uh, that's where we're gonna go and mow down this ogre right there. Hell. That is just a fantastic job. Kill an author. Now, yet then, I do know that this weapon could get even better with DPS output when it comes to Titans. You know, with, with the acting war rig, which allows it to, if not fire the whole entire reserve at one go, in one sitting the, for the whole duration while being protected, which makes it solid in raids, yet then. Although, uh, I heard that there's not really, uh, a good thing about it when it goes up against Riven, which somehow it does not put up enough damage to the table, although. Yet then, machine guns are a little bit underperformed, yet then, uh, more specifically on the legendaries, but it's a for a 900 RPM machine gun. 
it does solid. It does very, very good, very well. Now, yet it is unique that it does offer for air control, offer for singleton target, which against bosses, mini bosses, majors. Yet then you can mow down very easy. But like the, but like the, there's also other things that is also very competitive, which yet then there is the Lord and Xenophage, which is the only other exotic machine guns that's out there. And yet then how that perform is also very good, but yet the Xenophage will obviously blow it out of the water as well as Thunderlord by barely beating it if not over like a thousand DPS yet then up I'm not even gonna go through the DPS numbers of those machine guns but I, I know the other videos had already explained about their DPS numbers in the comparison for Hair Parent, Xenophage and Thunderlord together but there's also things that also just greatly out the PS and it's just a special yet then for example that I have here is my Imperial Decree. And my Imperial Decree is up at the fastest RPM state possible with assault mag, but also got full auto. Then I got here trench barrel and boss back. And yet then how that performs, yet then it's just absolutely brute force and may, may even might as well even out DPS. We have many things that will be on the same level as the Legend of Actorius. But yet then I believe I might have missed my shot at this one, but yet then with that trench barrel, then this one normal shot would be enough to kill this guy. I guess I might uh, goof that my shot here. Anyways, that. Yeah, so there's quite a bit also other things, but. Yeah, then having high DPS, special weapons, other stuff to go pair along with it. Which does great and okay. Now, although, like the. There's also sniper rifles, which. You can also pair along just fine. Although they did get hit pretty darn hard, but the only ones that's still viable here for PvE is most likely the the 72 RPM snipers, which here corresponding to Show of Force, the your two version. If you can actually get a good roll on it, that there is also Borealis. Then last but not least, if you're able to get the god roll, it is which is yet an on trophy hunter to pair that up with hair current, but so which is also nice to do. I can actually find my find my sniper rifle trophy hunter there. So yeah, yeah. So if you're able to just yeah pair it up with that now, also yet then. It's supposed to be good, but it may it may be just decent overall. You can even pair it up with distant t tumulus or tumulus, if the wiper its pronunciation is. But this guy here is for the garbles cloud cartridge to fire in line, and yet then I see that where it could get up to interesting numbers yet then. And I think the highest I ever like, got off of this one, yeah, depending on how how cloud cartridge goes, is up to eleven shots off of this. And yeah, eleven shots on a sniper rifle that's a rapid fire would put out yeah, a decent and consistent DPS. You hit that as well for high burst fire DPS since you're just able to have just random numbers to spam your shots at the boss's crit. But also they also got firing line to also enhance that. But if, the, if you still have like an OG sniper rifle which I believe that was introduced from back for Joker as well or season of the Drifter which is the Soul Survival which I believe I have here. Yeah here it is. Yet then you can also pair that one up as well. 
they're having the triple tap and firing line together, which is such a classic as well. And yet then overall, yet then this machine got yeah, can pull off decent damage. Now yet they will not pull as much damage as the Lord or Seeing Phage, but is is very reliable in, in most cases, although it does take up your exotic slot. But this is an exotic slot that's worth using. Just because yet then how it performs, how it feels, and yet then how unique it is compared to other exotics and heavies. Which is just fantastic. So I do think that you could even just, if there are other you could just throw the cheddar on and then do that combination. And yet the best part there is that it does enough body damage so you don't so it could go care less that if you're hitting body or crit and it's not that uh forgive it's not that forgiving for hitting the body. If even you hit a crit or two yet then in the mix that you're still doing decent damage. Them, uh, this weapon do love to eat up uh, high health bars for breakfast, I'll do. So uh, then you could go very creative about what you could use in your combo for that. Yet then like to, if you like to go close range yet the uh, shotguns on a hair pair will wouldn't be too bad. And so it's yet to how how it does in PvP, which does do a little bit differently, and you know, must try to stay away from the crowd as much as possible if you need to get that overshield up and running. Because yet then without it, yet then you're not able to survive much now. The only big major bust to this yet then that eventually once you do apply the shield that eventually that if anybody has an arc weapon then they could basically destroy you because even if they use things like Bastion for example or Arbalest yet then it will just absolutely tank your shield and you will take heavy heavy damage that you may even get one shot it out out of it before having a chance to spray at somebody or oh, while well, spraying because yet then there's team shooting obviously that's in the background <laughs> but yet then if but also that there was also hard light also is a factor since it could swap to arc then it could be just easy picking for you since hard light has piercing and piercing rounds do cause bonus damage against shielded enemies when matching yet uh, then it causes bonus damage when it's not matching but it's only like two percent increase and then there's obviously a five percent increase or maybe ten percent i don't remember how the armor piercing rounds work but I do know that you get less of a bonus while mat while not matching to the shield, but you get a big bonus damage when matching. And then, as well, that you're if you are able to use <laughs> you know, things, you know, kind of like sweet business. Although sweet business is not even a elemental, but it does have. Now, armor piercing that it may even have somewhat of a chance if there is, it just really depends. But I, I don't even know how much rounds the sweet business could even do to that shield, which I had not seen any test of that, so and I might just yeah, have friends to, to go around and shoot me with sweet business and 
and then we'll see to determine how much it could actually shoot shoot me down but you have to know how it is on the visuals you have to know for your shield now if I go emoting this is what they actually see is that bubble that blue bubble around you so that's your indicator now I ain't too sure if it's gonna be shown around if somebody had turned you visible or if you're a hunter and you just happen to turn it visible but <laughs> but it then uh it's a little bit hard for me to tell but it then uh hopefully whenever i do get a friend that do have one yet then i could pretty i could pretty much confirm that the bubble could be seen while visible or not <laughs> but although like the it would be a little bit uh hilarious that if a hunter or anybody else turned invisible and the bubble is just still sitting there then people is going to know that you're there around them because of the big blue bubble being the elephant in the room <laughs> which would be very hilarious anyway sit then that it does uh, it does as a form which it has very high stats it then recoil and stability is it's like very much very good handling it it's very good now you know, for the weapon as it is I'm pretty much gonna give it like an A rank because it is not a god tier weapon, not like a S tier or, or anything, but it is very good. It, it is very versatile. You know, for it to use it, it then, although it's a little bit wonky to use, just because you have to hip fire and that little red dot is your indicator for where the bullets is going as where you're pointing at <laughs> now yet then that I say the aim assist will probably apply within mid ranges yet then if you are trying to attempt to hit the crit spot but yet then when this weapon is up it's up close or in the stationary place and the boss is stationary as well that the crit isn't moving too much then hair parent will have a leg up <laughs> for that and able to sustain fire <laughs> at least longer than most of their machine guns and even longer with a titan using empty a war rig now I don't even find what's even interesting that <clears throat> meh there's maybe like a video of a, I'll be shooting a tank up with a Vorpal weapon machine gun. But and also there's also one that even what even more a while back that when there is the foe chaser and social nighthawk trick, which is still it's still a pliable but slowly done with to do even more damage against a vehicle or when something is about to die and you're able to get that 30 to 50 percent buff as well for that extra precision damage as from the subclass enables you now you did some reason that the foe tracer will allow you to do 30 percent more yeah for well as a body crit or crit or crit crit and you know, type damage which yeah yeah see it then uh that's only when you just look at it so it uh, it, uh, it does put out damage and yet then we do amplify it up with tractor cannon infinity or you know tether or be inside of a well or bubble Yet then you're just literally just having it into a bullet hose machine. 
and yet then just absolutely shred things <laughs> to the point that there's nothing left. <laughs> so it's, we're gonna take it down there onto Titan and gonna make a gonna make this hell off of that. This uh, size this weapon is still a little bit new to most people. So yet then this so yet I really don't know how things are gonna pan out but so we got at least about like a minute ten seconds before this is going to to launch and yet then we're just just to make li life easier we're just gonna use a pair of the Kree just two shot it to the leg while trench barrel is active and then we got to it and then close it down with the machine gun Just to give you a little bit of proof, you think the photo tracer will buff up your damage somehow when looking at a vehicle, which the tank does count as a vehicle, obviously. And I do know that if you are having a boss spec weapon, a corporal weapon, to have a photo tracer, then instead of pulling off, you then wherever, I think it was like 21.5. 0.7% increase will now jump you up <laughs> into a whopping 57.7% increase because of the 30% added bonus for the second Guardian, the Fallen vehicle. are bringing in their armory again. You'd think they'd know better by now. Look at those caches. They never learn. Then teach them a new lesson. Sometimes so nearly you another hundred rounds for the whole time magazine would be enough to kill it. But yet then you see that it did shred it and melt it down. <laughs> yeah, as for filming, it is just absolutely devastating. Yeah, there you And yet, the besides, yet then when you're out there in public, that there are some new light players, yet then it's probably a good thing. It's like, huh, it's like, oh, this person has it. <laughs> so, yet then I would highly advise to be careful for a little bit with this weapon because mainly it just makes you look like you're a ha like a hacker or something, but when really it's just it's exotic. That you could gain a shield for yourself, and yet then you have to get extra protection for the season. Because although that the internet is out, but I'm pretty sure there's there's some group of people that probably have no knowledge, but probably just played it and never bothered to look up for it. And, So, yes, <coughs> very much done here with the little bit of example, but like the overall, the 
pair of parrots. It is a good machine gun and it's very much worth it for your you know, for your heavy slots and exotic slot as well. Yeah. And yet then I know that I like the with most with most um But most machine guns are 900, which is the rapid fires. I think, I think if, if I believe they have less of an impact, but Harry Parent have, has, if not a little bit more or, or less than a 450. Um, let's see if we could go and compare it. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, then like the just to let anybody know that yeah, it does do a lot more damage per bullet than, than a legendary 900 RPM. And uh, it then even does more bullets, more bullet damage, and then 21% delirium, which is very interesting in general. And yet, then, like the, it's like you're having a 450, but it has double the RPM rate and is basically on steroids as well, giving you. And overshield protection. So there's pretty much to even describe about her parent. <laughs> For on now, yet then I pretty much gonna end this review, and I'll see you all later. And and then I'm a, I might be seeing what to do with that machine gun. <laughs> see what kind of interesting things that we that I could do with it. But then I do hear that there is also these glitch to have an infinite shield or regenerating shield pretty much to last indefinite. Although it's a little bit tricky to do. But yet then I really don't even think there's not even much benefit. It's just but you're just better off just trying to spin it off and then just go go out in the open field, just open fire with that thing. But, <laughs> it do, I'll be on the get-go and I'll stop the yeah. broadcast and I'll see you later when never I could make another video out. Yeah, but the thing's been going down a little bit slow, but eventually I'll just keep on making more videos. And yet then coming soon will be Doom Eternal. So yet then, yet then after I get Doom Eternal completely all set up, then yeah, we're gonna go do an entire gameplay series on it. And yeah, because yet then I've been always wanted to play that game for for a good while, but until I finally do, got it. So. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be seeing y'all later on Doom Eternal, so <laughs> that'll be all it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, be, be safe here at home. Yeah, yeah then since the good old uh, COVID is still out there, yet yeah, there's a claim. Just remember, just remember to be safe. Yeah, see ya.